gender mainstreaming has become an integral part in community development. With women constituting more than half of the population of Zimbabwe, being the victims of gender-based violence. It has seen the plight of women and children being commemorated worldwide under the 16 days of activism. In the light of this, a local civic society organization, National Youth Development Trust, took the mandate to meet with young ladies from all walks of life and all political divides to discuss issues on how they can mainstream gender effectively in a patriarchal society. Young ladies raised pertinent issues such as uh, conducted under the theme of fostering young women's leadership strategies for accelerating women's empowerment and emancipation in Zimbabwe. This is after the realization that um, there is um, apathy in the Tandorenko has been a gender-based activist calls for an active involvement of women in national processes and in higher decision-making bodies, while also massive trainings on women's leadership would go a long way in embracing national and community development. Other utterances from young ladies were... A committee may be that acting an accountability for issues such as between Mautua, so will a 50-50... Yes, Tabile Moyo laments the need for gender equality and equity while clear definitive women's empowerment strategies as entrepreneurial skills will go a long way towards women's empowerment and sustainability. Amongst issues raised at the workshop, young ladies called for a 50-50 representation in all spheres. The drive towards women's emancipation, education of the girl child that is in most parts of the rural communities, and the creation of definitive organizations that enable women to speak out and defend women. Reporting for the Kora Mobile Reporters Network in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe, 